Hello and welcome to our collective worship this week. On Sunday, the whole of the UK remembered that the NHS, our National Health Service, was founded 72 years ago this year. The National Health Service was created just after the Second World War to make sure everybody, no matter how rich or poor they were, could have access to doctors and nurses and medical or health care. The story I'm going to read you today is about Jesus. It's about some friends who were so concerned about their friend getting the health care that he needed and being healed by Jesus, that they did something really amazing. The story's called Down Through the Roof. Anna stuck a finger through the hole in her skirt. <gasps> How did that get there, she wondered. She'd have to run to her mother to have it mended. But her mother was on the other side of the house and the house was full. Packed full. Jammed full. Chock a block full. Why? Because Jesus was visiting. The old man and woman standing in front of Anna shifted and she squeezed into the hole between them. She could see better now. Jesus was a lot like her father. They both taught people about God. They both prayed beautiful prayers. But Jesus could do something else, something her father had never done. Jesus could make sick people well. No wonder the whole town had crowded into her house. Suddenly, something dropped on Anna's head. Anna looked up, and there was another hole, a hole in the roof. <clears throat> Anna stepped back, the hole got bigger, the crowd stepped back, and the hole got bigger still. What's going on up there? shouted Anna's father. And instead of an answer, a man dropped through the hole, a man lying on a mat with a rope at each corner. A poor, sick man who could not even move. His friends lowered him carefully to the floor and Jesus laid a hand on his head. My friend, Jesus said, the wrong things you have done are now forgiven. Wait a minute, growled Anna's father. Wait just a minute. Only God can take away someone's sins. Just who do you think you are? Oh dear, thought Anna. Her father often got angry when he talked with people about God, but Jesus wasn't angry at all. Which is easier, he said calmly, to forgive a man, a lame man's sins or to make him walk. It was all Anna could do to not giggle. What's a silly question, she thought. One is just as hard as the other. Well, Jesus continued, to show you that God has given me the power to fix what is wrong with this man's heart, I shall fix what's wrong with his legs. Stand up, Jesus ordered the man. You can do it. And the man did. What's more, he rolled up the mat, slung it over his shoulder and walked out through the front door. His friends climbed down from the roof to join him. The crowd followed behind cheering. But all Anna could do was stare up through that hole and smile. Now, of course, our NHS, our National Health Service, relies on doctors and nurses who all have amazing skill to look after people. Jesus was the son of God. So that's why he could heal. But our doctors and nurses have learned lots and lots and lots of things to help people get better. And we're very, very grateful in this country to be able to have it free at the point of need. So that means nobody has to pay. A long time ago, before the NHS, people used to have to pay to see a doctor. We don't pay directly anymore like that. So it means that anybody who's poorly, sick, can go to a doctor and get help. So now we've come to our time of prayer. And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen 
after me. Dear God, we thank you for the skills of doctors and nurses to make people better. We give you thanks for our National Health Service and for all those whose idea it was. Lord, we also thank you for Jesus and for the story today where he healed that man who couldn't walk. Keep us safe this coming week. Amen. Hope to see you all really soon. Goodbye.